first step in recreating your virtual space in your as your physical world is preparing your VR space. You should clean your space thoroughly, make sure there's nothing on the floor, nothing that you will walk over because eventually we will be turning off the Guardian. Next you need to set up your boundary and um, it's going to be a little different than your normal boundary. It's not going to be like just like a regular square or circle. You're going to have to outline the major objects inside of your boundary so you'll um, easily be able to match up um, the virtual objects with the physical objects. Next you want to connect the Oculus Link. I have a 32 foot extender cable and I like to connect it using Velcro to make sure it stays together. You also want to switch on the glanceable boundary so whenever you look down you'll be able to see the outline of your boundary. That way it'll be easier to match up the virtual objects with the physical objects. When you enter Oculus Homes you're going to want to find a big enough space to match your boundary and then you want to start to match the virtual objects with the physical objects. So to start off I'm going to match, match this virtual couch with my physical couch in real life and um, then I'll be able to sit on it with, without having um, to worry about running into anything. So now that we see it matches up one to one we can have a seat and test it out. So now I'm going to start decorating my virtual home, I'm going to change the floor up a bit. I decided I want to go with a space theme, so after going through a couple of options I decided to stick with the um, white floor that matched the theme of the base. After that I chose my um, environment, you have a couple of options, I decided to go with the space theme, it matched the theme of the base and I just thought the overall aesthetic was beautiful. Sometimes you're going to have a hard time finding objects to match up with the um, physical objects because you may have a li limited uh, item choice in the Oculus Homes. Depending on how often you play, how many uh, objects you've um, acquired throughout gaming, but eventually you will find something that will suit the physical object. So I like to outline my guardian my, cause, because when you turn off the guardian uh, boundary you don't want to walk outside of your bounds and the Oculus homes that they give you are too big, well for me it's too big. So I found space there so I can fit my boundary and I just decided to um, outline it so once I turn my guardian off it'll be easier and I won't, won't run into anything. Now we can't forget the TV because we want to have everything lined up one to one. So if I ever stream something from the TV in real life, I can sh it, it'll stream on my virtual TV. So um, it was, it's kind of like a dimensional overlay if you think about it. It's a virtual overlay on top of the physical world. And now we sort of have like a, a base. You can see how it's turning out. We have like the wall set up and everything. I'm placing my mirror so if I ever want to edit my avatar, I can just come over here, look at the mirror and do that.
Now this part is very important. We want to set a dimensional entry point, which means we have like, for me, it's this little, little carpet. So we make a, we have a physical carpet in the, in the real world and we create a virtual carpet to overlay right on top of that. So whenever we port into the virtual world, we want to be standing on that little carpet because it'll port us to, it'll uh, put us in the same spot in the virtual reality world every time. So if you, no matter where you're standing, when you port into the virtual world, it'll port you onto this carpet. So you want to make sure you line up a carpet in the real world with um, one with the virtual world. Now save the entry point so your Oculus homes know that this is where we want to enter every time. And uh, so every time we port in, we'll be there. And get a clock. I always get a clock so you never forget what time it is in VR. Now you can start to decorate, put all, all your types of toys and figurines that you want inside. Um, do whatever you want. Now we can finally turn the guardian off. Now that we have all the walls and set up, all the walls set up and all the basic um, furniture, we can turn the guardian off and we can proudly walk around without being scared of running around and hitting anything. So that everything matches up, everything lines up. We can explore, take a seat on our virtual couch and just take in the wondrous experience of having two homes at the same time a virtual home and a physical home and it feels amazing and now you can do it too just follow these simple instructions just do what I did and you can enjoy another home on top of the home you already have like who like that's amazing that's very fun you know like right I just pat it that couch I can sit down if I wanted to, I can watch movies, do whatever I want, play games, I can shoot the basketball, I can really do whatever I want in virtual reality. Now I can bring it to my physical world and it feels so much more immersive. I can just catch these balls, like, you see that? The reflexes, amazing. I did not make that one shot though, but that's okay. Um, but now you get to see my bow and arrow skills, my pet jellyfish. Alfred, Winterfred, and Pinterfred, that's their names. But if you see my um, shots, uh, very, I'm very skillful. I always seem to miss one when I make these videos for some reason. But, um, oh well. Well, basically, that's it, guys. If you want to make your own home, you can do that. You can even sit here, pour a glass up, have a drink, watch TV. And, uh, you know, remember to comment, like, subscribe. This was fun. See you all next time.